G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do a swipe for you today. Now, this swipe has been inspired by the lovely Anna Hughes. Hey Anna, she's on my Facebook group, pouring your heart out with Julie. And uh, she did this gray background and then she swiped sort of um, off center. So she had a swipe here and then she had a line there and she swiped and then she had a line up here. I've done something similar, but um, I do want to try these chroma molten metallics. I did a flip cup with them the other day. And if you saw that, you would have seen that they were very thin. And I said, oh, I must try a swipe with them. So I'm going to do that with them today. And I've mixed them two parts Floetrol to one part paint. So those are my metallics, gold, copper and silver. These come in two different golds. This is the darker one, Xanadu Gold. And because I'm putting white with it, I thought I don't need to use the lighter gold because this will probably lighten it anyway. And I've got the black and white from the Artist Loft. So those are my colours and I've mixed those two parts Floetrol to one part paint as well. I do buy it in the big four litre but I just put it into these because it's easier to use because the big one's heavy. Righty -o. Um, this This is the background. Just a grey that I made. It's Montmartre paint and I just mixed white with a little bl a blob of black until I was happy with it. I did put a tiny, tiny little bit of blue in it just so that it wouldn't throw that brown shade. I'd prefer it to show it, throw a blue than a brown because you know how greys th throw different colours. There's green and purple and brown and so anyway, I did that. Uh, that one to get it nice and thin, four parts flow troll to one part paint. Now I'm going to show you, before I get started, uh, the pink sandwich pour that I did a while back. That's it there, all dry beautifully. Hopefully you saw the video on me making that one. So yeah, all done. Just had to pause that video for a minute while my dogs barked. My daughter came home. Uh, now what was I saying to you? Oh yeah, I showed you the... Um, sandwich pour. Now a while back I was doing these swipes um, where you put down your, your background same as what we're going to do today um, and then you know your lines of colors and then you swipe down and you swipe up with um, little paint chip cards different sizes like that or bits of plastic um, this one, love this one. So it's I mean, it's going to be similar, but instead of being it all in the one row like that, it'll be off-centered. So like an off-centered swipe. Right, so that's kind of what I'm going to do today. Here's another one that I did a while back in metallics. I put a, a gloss on that. So depending on how these turns out with these metallics, I may put a gloss on it. This is something similar. Um, I don't know if this will all fit in the frame. This is, it's it's more of a patchwork swipe, this one, because it's got, you know, definite sections like that that go in different directions. So that's, again, similar, but um, that's a patchwork. So that was also done in metallics, the gold, silver, and copper. So kind of a... a twist up again I guess against um, both of those styles but um, definitely inspired by Anna today right let me get my gloves on reuse these and I'm going to cover oops stuck together I'm going to cover the canvas first with my gray now there's no silicone oil in any of these paints for this paint, for my background, hopefully it's enough paint, for this 30 by 60 centimetre canvas, 12 by 24 inch, I did 160 grams of Floetrol and 40 grams of the grey paint. So that's my four to one. So 
so it's nice and thin you don't want it thick if your background's too thick you can't swipe properly and it kind of skips like that i'm just going to get my little tool my little paint spreading cake decorating spatula tool thingy whatever you want to call it now i just like to push all the paint over to the edge first and then without trying to knock these paints over and then i will pick it up and and tilt it so that it covers the uh the sides or the edges so that's what i like to do to cover mine and that way you get a nice thin even coat rather than just sort of leaving it on there because that's going to be too thick uh, I'll put this oh, where will I put it I'll just put it actually it's just still dripping some paint let's get all of that off just put it over there for a minute out of the way okay now let's see if we can move some paint around don't want too much to go over the edge but you can see sort of where the waves are you can tell where it is so you just need to just take a few minutes and you can I guess just use your fingers just on the back of the canvas there see this is already covered down here so I want the paint to go down here and then down that's why I'm sort of tipping it on an angle So that's what I'm going to do there. I may actually just, I'll do this one side and then I'll pause the video because you don't need to watch me doing that for the next few minutes. So the paint's just moving slowly. I've got the back there. Okay, so that side's covered. I'll get this little bit here. You can always pick up some paint from there puppy pedal pad or tarp or whatever it is you've got underneath right, so that side's covered now I'm just gonna pop you on pause and I'll I'll finish it off all done and covered and I've zoomed you in a little bit now I just need to move my paints to the side here then I can put my little strip of paper towel down I don't know if you can see that maybe I've zoomed you in too much oops just zoom you out just a touch hey so that you can see my paper towel up there okay radio let's get this show on the road so I'm just going to torch this just real quick just to get any bubbles out Settle down, big boy. It's getting a bit excited. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, now, I'm not going to do that normal strip down the centre there. Oh, there's a piece of fluff in here. I've been vacuuming this morning and I think I kind of stirred up the fluff in my studio. <laughs> fluff and dust and there's always something, isn't there? Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> So I'm basically just going to use the bigger card. I've got the little ones as well. I might use them both. And I don't want to put very much paint on. Normally, you know, you put quite a lot on, you swipe all the way down. But I actually want to see some of the, the background, the negative space. So I'm going to try, try, just to do a little bit. And I want to do a sort of a ziggy zaggy like that. Oops, I'm not getting anything. <laughs> I want to try and do a, a zigzag with my, my colours. That's very similar, isn't it? Probably won't even show up that silver. It probably wasn't such a good idea doing the silver. Never mind. It, it'll still give a pretty sheen, I think. So just sort of... Higgledy piggledy like that. Higgledy piggledy. Oh, look at that. I've done too big. Maybe I'll, I'll just go that way, hey? 
I'm going to go that way. Um, now I don't want to take all that paint. Actually, I might do the other way first. I'm going to have to swipe away from me because I'm not going to turn this around each time. So I didn't quite get down there where I wanted to, but that's okay. It's probably because I'm doing it away from me. I kind of lifted one end. I can go over that again. Let's put a little bit of a little bit more of that copper in. Okay. Lovely. That was probably still too much paint because I can only see a little bit of negative space. I won't worry about filling that in because, as I said, I do want to have the negative space. So let's go again. We'll just kind of go from here. Oh, look, I dripped. So you've got to be so careful, don't you? Just going to put like little blobs on. It's not coming out very easily. I don't want too much black and white. I'm trying to do like a wave but it's not really happening because I'm only sort of putting little dribbles on if you know what I mean I'm gonna to have to swipe over that all right here we go that's better it's more of a pale sort of a covering Actually, maybe that's too pale. <laughs> By the time I get to the end of the canvas, I'll have got it right. I didn't do any practices or anything. I'll wipe it off here and I'm going to just go again. And I better put some paint in here, hey, because I haven't got any colour in there. Actually, I better be careful I don't drip again. Hold my cup there so I don't drip into it. And put a little bit of silver in there as well just to mix it up a little bit. And I can use my, actually no, I can use my bigger one. That's okay. Let's go again. I'm going to try and pick up some of these colours. And go again. Oh, I've still missed that little area there. There we go. I don't mind having a little bit of the silver in between. As I said, I do want to have um, a little bit more negative space. So that one's pretty much covered the whole area. So the next one I'm going to try and do more like this. A little bit less, a little bit less paint also makes a big difference. Let's go up here. I'm trying to do my, there we go, that worked. My ziggy zaggy. and a little bit of silver now because this one is so close to the edge i'm going to have to drag that way first otherwise there's going to be uh, no paint left for me to drag the other way if i drag this way first so the black and the white is what's going to give you the cells or this lacing that's going on here now, once that gets wet, see it's starting to curl, just turn it around and use the other side. So I'm going to have to go that way first. Otherwise, if I go that way, there's going to be really thick paint here. So I'm going to go the other way first. Oh, it's too big that way. I don't mind a little bit of the the um, the silver, the, or the grey, I should say. I'm just going to lift it up there at the end so I can get that little bit of a, a wispy look there. Now that, that, what we can do is, um, we can just cut one of these little ones in half. Make sure that you trim the corner off. I'm not going to do it over there because I'll drip it into my painting. But just trim your, your corners off like that because so that they don't dig in. And let's do that and that okay whoa look at this that's looking really pretty look at my lacing i've got up 
actually like how that's on an angle. When I started, I didn't like that because normally I just swipe, you know, and do the whole surface. If you've seen my swipes, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I actually like how that's missing there a little bit. Okay, so let's go sort of into the middle here again. We'll leave a little bit of silver, silver, grey on the edge there. That was probably a little bit too much of the gold. I wonder if you, if you can sort of see any silver coming through. It's hard to know because the, blacks, the black and the white are kind of turning grey anyway. So it's hard to know. But just little, little swirls, opposite directions. That way when you swipe, you're kind of pulling down a little bit of white, a little bit of copper, a little bit of black, not just one line. Okay, let's go again. So, oh, that was a good one. Probably put a bit too much black there, but hey, I think the I think it probably needs that contrast of the darker black. What do you think? Probably. Very nice. Oh, I'm loving this. Okay, so now we need to start down low because we've got a high one up there. So we'll start low, and. If you, I'm not really straight, am I? If you want bright colours like this, put on more paint. If you want it more subdued like that, put less paint. So let's try one with a little bit of, a little less paint this time, hey? It's hard to, to do because it kind of wants to blob. We don't have to have the gold right up to the edge there. Mix some of that in. Again, I've used quite a lot of paint. I'll just put a little bit of black on this time and a little bit of white. As I said, it's the black and the white that's going to give you your, your lacing. All right, now go the, the longest way first to spread your paint. Otherwise, you're going to make it too thick over there because the same amount of paint has to go a shorter distance. So spread it this way first. And I kind of lifted it just there, just to lift that up a bit. You can, you know, if you wanted to, you could go really fast and lift it up like that so that you're only going halfway. But I want some of them to go off the edge and some not to. So actually this, this whole side, because I'm dragging towards me, this whole side's gone over the edge. I'm going to have to change it so that I've got more negative space on this side. I didn't notice that until I just said that to you. Okay, that one can go a little bit more over. So over here, I'm going to try to stop it here. I must be dragging differently because I'm dragging towards myself and dragging away. So uh, let's do one more, hey? Put a little bit more black in this one just because that last one didn't have that much in it. I've got so much paint left, you guys didn't make very much, I mean I made up, um, what did I do, I did 30 grams of pouring medium and 15 grams of paint, so I didn't make up a lot, of oh, this first one, this gold one, I did that at one to one, thinking it would be thin enough, but it wasn't, so I did 30 grams of pouring medium, 30 grams of paint, and then I realised, uh-uh, that needs to be two to one, so I added another 30 grams of the um, flow troll, so that's why I've got more paint in that one, but um. I may do another one. I'll, I can do another one of these. Hey, big one. Now, both of those have curled up, so that's going to be chucked. I'll get a fresh one. They're free. You can get them from the hardware store, so you know, don't worry about having to try and save them. I'm just moving these out of the way so I can get my arm in here. All right, here we go. Now, that side, I think I'll try and take all the way off, and then this one I have to stop. I wish I had stopped a bit further here. Next time, hey, we'll do it again. This is my first time. But Anna doesn't mind. <laughs> I'm so used to people, you know, being inspired by me and copying everything I do, so to speak. It's actually nice to be inspired by someone else. So I thank you for that, Anna. And she was so lovely. She was answering everyone's questions on Facebook, you know, in the group. Some people don't like to share. Um, but, you know, my group's all about sharing their, uh, their experiences and their techniques. So... Yeah, I really do commend her 
for sharing and answering everyone's questions. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Now, this is going to be tricky. I'm going to have to try and not get all the way down there, but I don't know if I can. Whoops. Oh, yeah, I did. Look at that. I just had to go a little bit faster. Woohoo! What do you think, guys? What do you think, Anna? Have I done you proud? <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. Really like that. Um, I guess the only bit that's bothering me is this little bit here, but only because everything else has gone straight and that it's kind of skipped. So I'm just going to pop a tiny little bit more paint just up here. And um, where's that little piece that I had? I'm just going to see if I can just get that just to cover that little area there where it's it's skipped it does this if your base coat is quite thick um, when you swipe it kind of it kind of jumps and gives you this ripple effect like this so if you like that make your base a bit thicker but if you don't then make your base a bit thinner that's what I've kind of found in my experience but that's what causes it so that's just covered that there hey so that's that's it um, now this is running off my side there and that's just bothering me a little bit so I'm just I didn't save any of the the gray background so I'm really scraping my cup and I'm just being pedantic here just covering that and then my edges are all going to be beautifully covered in grey you see so just need a little bit more just to run down over the top of that black I'll show you in a minute what I'm talking about I'll take you down for a close-up and you can see that I've just covered that side but yeah that's just me being just me being me, being pedantic, a bit OCD. <laughs> All right, uh, let me get you down for a close-up. I think it's got a lot more, it's got a lot more black in it than Anna's, I think. can't remember. I have to have a little look at a photo. Now, can you see anything different? I took, well, actually my husband took the globe out of that light up there. So now I haven't got that white light shining on me. Just got a different white light shining. Oh, well, what can you do? So that's it there. Let's, um, let's start over here and go up, hey? Well, whoops, no, get your fingers out of the camera, Julie. I'm trying to pan up. There we go. Definitely would like to have another go at this because I just don't think I've got quite enough colour in it. The black has kind of taken over. Um, and I probably used a little bit too much paint. I don't know. Oh, but look, you, you know, you can, tr you can be inspired by people by all means, but, you know, make it your own. It's definitely, you know, not identical. But, um, yeah, certainly be inspired by others. And if you are going to do something that is inspired by others, if you're going to put your photo up, please say, you know, inspired by whoever. Flip cup pour, inspired by Julie. <laughs> Swipe, inspired by Anna. So, you know, do the right thing. And um, everyone will be happy, happy little campers. All right, so there we go. Hope you've enjoyed that. And um, yeah, I've got heaps of these paints left, so I might do a bigger one and add a little bit more color. I don't want to swipe again because if you swipe again, you're going to disrupt your lines, your lacing, all that kind of thing. So you're best off just leaving it. You know, if you make a mistake and you really hate something, well, you know, you don't have to go over it, but you may actually see uh, where you've tried to fix it up.
right i'll leave it there thanks for watching you guys thanks for all your support don't forget to hit that notification bell hey to be notified by email when i put up a new video all right thanks again see you soon bye for now